ต่อไปเป็นดาล็อกหน่วยที่6เรื่อง Logistics Management อันแรกจะเป็น Situation ของเรื่องที่ 6.1.2 Why does logistics get more attention nowadays? Six point one point two. Why does logistics get more attention nowadays? Listen to the following dialogue. Situation: Sudarat and Mark are colleagues, and they are now discussing the ever-increasing importance of logistics in the international trade and the seminar on Thai and U.S. logistics cooperation. I saw on TV that there will be a seminar on Thai and U.S. logistics cooperation at the end of this month. Why does logistics get more and more attention nowadays? Because logistics is playing a key role in the seamless world. A company with effective logistics management will have a more competitive edge than the others. Let's assume that the products are substitutable, which is the case for most items. If you can provide a product to a customer with a competitive price, at the right place and the right time, do you think the customer will buy other products? This is where logistics comes in. You need to find ways and means to maintain the availability of the product and minimize the cost incurred. Of course, you need to optimize the relevant resources, and the most effective way is to work with your partners. There is no such thing like competitors in today's business. We need to cooperate with our competitors, and turn them into our partners. If you are in the same business, you normally use the same resources, and if you can cooperate with the others in the same business, all of you together have more bargaining power than an individual firm. It's a win-win situation. The suppliers for raw materials can sell more. The manufacturers can have some cost savings, and finally, the end customers can buy products at lower prices. That's right. Globalization forces us to think and work differently. Networking becomes crucial. Without cooperation, you cannot be successful. I'm certain that both the U.S. and Thai governments realize the important role of logistics in the international trade, and this seminar has been organized in an effort to strengthen trade relations between these two countries. Yes. Logistics is having an ever-increasing significance in international trade, and with Thailand and the U.S. working closer together, the ongoing benefits to the Thai balance of trade will only increase. I'm looking forward to the implementation of the Thai-U.S. agreement and future agreements with other countries. Situation: r e a t i o n h o n h o w do I get the product into Thailand? Six point two point two. How do I get the product into Thailand? Listen to the following dialogue. Situation: Frank is now interested in starting a business. He would like to import olive oil from Italy into Thailand, but he does not know what he needs to do. Thus, he is now consulting Niti, a friend of his colleague, who knows about import and export. As an increasing number of people are aware of their health, they take greater care of what they eat. I believe that olive oil is good for our health, so I'd really like to import olive oil from Italy into Thailand. The problem is, is that I know very little about import and export. If you are interested in this business, I can introduce you to one of my friends who has been doing import and export for more than 20 years. Oh, well, that's wonderful. But how can I get the product into Thailand then? At the initial stage, you may ask the supplier to send you some samples so that you can see the actual products and also test them to see whether the quality is up to your expectation. How will they send the samples to me? Since the shipment is rather small, you may ask them to deliver it to you by courier together with some catalogs. Do I have to pay the freight charges? I don't think so. Normally, the freight is prepaid at the sender's end, and the shipment will be delivered directly to your door. That's very convenient then, but the charges must be high. And how long does it take to get the shipment? 
Of course, the charges are quite high. As a result, only small parcels and documents will be sent by courier services, such as DHL, UPS, and FedEx. It'll take only a few days to arrive. If I have an urgent need, should I always choose this mode of transport? Not really. There are limitations on the size of the parcels. If the size of your shipment is rather big, you need to send it by air instead of by courier. It's still fast, but you need a broker to process the customs formalities for you. It sounds a bit complicated to me. Life is not easy, friend, but it's not too difficult to manage. Most of the customs brokers are very professional. They'll take care of everything for you. I understand that、um, air freight charges are also high. If I'd like to reduce the freight charge, which mode of transport would you recommend? By sea, which is the cheapest mode of transport between Italy and here. However, it takes a longer time than by air. You need to have proper management of your inventory so that you have sufficient stocks to meet the needs of your customers. I saw containers at the port. They were very big. What if my shipment does not fill the whole container? It's not necessary that your shipment is a full container load or FCL. The shipping company will consolidate shipments from a number of clients with less than a container load or LCL shipments. Activity 12 Comprehension Check. Listen and check if the following statements are true or false according to the dialogue. 1. More and more people are aware of their health and are careful about what they are eating. More and more people are aware of their health and are careful about what they are eating. 2. Frank wants to import olive oil from France into Thailand. Frank wants to import olive oil. From France into Thailand. Three. Nitty offers to introduce a friend who has been in the business of selling olive oil to Frank. Nitty offers to introduce a friend who has been in the business of selling olive oil to Frank. Four. One good thing about having the supplier send some samples is that the actual products can be seen and tested. One good thing about having the supplier send some samples is that the actual product can be seen and tested. 5. Delivery by courier is more suitable for big shipments. Delivery by courier is more suitable for big shipments. 6. The charges for the shipment to be delivered directly to the customer's door are quite high. The charges for the shipment to be delivered directly to the customer's door are quite high. 7. Delivering small parcels and documents by courier services takes only a few days. Delivering small parcels and documents by courier services takes only a few days. 8. DHL, UPS, and FedEx are samples of courier services. DHL, UPS, and FedEx are samples of courier services. 9. Sending samples of goods by air is fast, and there is no need for a broker to process the customs formalities. Sending samples of goods by air is fast, and there is no need for a broker to process the customs formalities. 10. As sending goods by sea, Takes a longer time than air. Proper management of inventory is therefore needed to make sure that there are sufficient stocks to meet the needs of the customers. As sending goods by sea takes a longer time than air, proper management of inventory is therefore needed to make sure that there are sufficient stocks to meet the needs of the customers. 11. The client. Must always have his or her shipment fill the whole container. The client must always have his or her shipment fill the whole container. 12. FCL, 
stands for a full container load, while LCL stands for less than a container load. FCL stands for a full container load, while LCL stands for less than a container load. Activity 13. Complete the following conversation with the words you hear. Good afternoon. May I help you? Yes. I'm calling from Alex's pub and restaurant. I'd like to find out about the shipment of the Italian wine we have ordered. Do you have any idea when I will receive the goods? Could you hold the line for a minute, please? I'll check it for you. Well, the goods were picked up from the forder yesterday afternoon. How long will it take to get the shipment, then? The forwarder is now preparing the delivery, and they have informed us that the goods will be sent by air this evening. You should receive them by Friday. Do I have to process the customs formalities myself? There's no need for that. The customs broker will take care of that for you, as we have earlier agreed. OK, then. I do look forward to receiving the goods. Activity 14. Match the questions with their corresponding responses. Then, listen to check the answers. 1. Do you trade or do you negotiate with a lot of people whose first language isn't English? Yes, I would say I do. Probably 50 to 60% of the business we do are with non-native English speakers. 2. Do you usually try to familiarise yourself with the background of the people you're dealing with? Oh, absolutely. That's the biggest asset in a negotiation. It is a case of not only knowing your own business, but it's an understanding of the personality of the other party involved. 3. Are you in a very competitive industry? It's incredibly competitive now, yes, because it's such a big worldwide market. There are a lot of companies that want a share of that market. 4. Can you describe your product? Yes, we manufacture a wide range of high-performance athletic footwear and training shoes. In other words, complementary clothing or apparel. 5. Is it reasonable for a business person to give or receive bribes? Of course not. In my opinion, it's morally wrong to pay or accept bribes. But I'm sure that bribery does occur. 6. Are the techniques required for those types of presentations very different? They differ slightly. This is partly because each presentation has particular objectives. 7. Have you ever attended any large formal business meetings abroad? A few times in the US, Italy, Switzerland and Japan. I find them all very useful. 8. Should I start working with a large international company? Certainly. I'm sure you'll get excellent training and an immediate circle of contacts. ต่อไปจะเป็นกิจกรรมที่16 warm up ของเรื่องที่ 6.3.1 นะคะจะเป็นเรื่องของ warehousing and its functions six point three point one warehousing and its functions activity sixteen warm up match the words with their Thai meanings then listen and repeat the words one integral two evolve three facet four Disposition. Five. Storage. Six. Inventories. Seven. Constitute. Eight. Seasonality. Nine. 
Demand fluctuation. 10. Overcome. 11. Accomplish. 12. Commensurate. 13. Break bulk. 14. Consolidate. 15. Alternatives. 16. Eliminate. 17. Variation. 18. Customize. 19. Temporary. 20. Conveyor. Situation r o o m to 6.3 to 2.2. Looking for a l e n t e d press. Six point three point two. Looking for a rented place. Listen to the following dialogue. Situation: Steve is importing chocolate and confectionery into Thailand for sale, and he is now looking for a rented place to store his products. Thus, he talks to Lada, a warehouse manager. I'm now looking for a rented space to store my products. What kind of products do you have? They are chocolate and confectionery. Those require temperature-controlled storage. Yes, they must be kept in air-conditioned rooms. What is the size of space you are looking for? Around 400 square meters. How many SKUs do you have? Only 50. Would you like to have a racked warehouse? Certainly. Will you also provide forklifts? That will be included in the rental charges. What kind of software do you use to control the stock movement in the warehouse? Our system is called the Warehouse Management System, or WMS. It's designed to monitor all activities in the warehouse, starting with order picking and including stock allocation, stock replenishing, shipment assembly. Shipment checking and finally dispatching. My products have expiry dates. They vary according to the manufacturing dates. Even the chocolate products we receive on the same date may have different expiry dates. How can you manage that? Upon receipt, we'll key in the expiry dates. Or, if you use barcoding that contains such information, we can scan the information into the WMS. The software will generate picking slips in such a way that stocks with shorter life will be issued first. You mean F I F O, first in, first out? Not exactly. I would say first expiry, first out. Okay. It seems that you have the system under control. How about the charges? The rental charge is per square meter, but the administrative cost will be based on activity. What do you mean by that? The rental is very straightforward in that if you rent 400 square meters, you pay 250 baht per square meter per month. This includes the racking and equipment rental. Fair enough, but what about the activity charges? The charge will be levied on the number of orders received and processed in each month. As we understand that your sales volumes will vary from month to month, it's not fair to charge you a fixed amount for administrative costs. Agreed. How much will you charge per order then? It's 500 baht per order. Would you please submit to me a written quotation so that I can consider your offer? I will get back to you as soon as I have made a decision. I will get it to you within a week. Thanks for your time. Activity 20. Comprehension check. Listen to the dialogue again, and identify the points of discussion in the dialogue. Situation: Steve is importing chocolate and confectionery into Thailand for sale, and he is now looking for a rented place to store his products. Thus, he talks to Lada, a warehouse manager. I am now looking for a rented space. To store my products. What kind of products do you have? They are chocolate and confectionery. 
Those require temperature-controlled storage. Yes, they must be kept in air-conditioned rooms. What is the size of space you are looking for? Around four hundred square meters. How many SKUs do you have? Only fifty. Would you like to have a racked warehouse? Certainly. Will you also provide forklifts? That will be included in the rental charges. What kind of software do you use to control the stock movement in the warehouse? Our system is called the Warehouse Management System, or WMS. It's designed to monitor all activities in the warehouse, starting with order picking and including stock allocation, stock replenishing, shipment assembly, shipment checking, and finally dispatching. My products have expiry dates. They vary according to the manufacturing dates. Even the chocolate products we receive on the same date may have different expiry dates. How can you manage that? Upon receipt, we'll key in the expiry dates. Or, if you use barcoding that contains such information, we can scan the information into the WMS. The software will generate picking slips in such a way that stocks with shorter life will be issued first. You mean FIFO, first in, first out? Not exactly. I would say first expiry, first out. Okay. It seems that you have the system under control. How about the charges? The rental charge is per square meter, but the administrative cost will be based on activity. What do you mean by that? The rental is very straightforward in that if you rent 400 square meters, you pay 250 baht per square meter per month. This includes the racking and equipment rental. Fair enough, but what about the activity charges? The charge will be levied on the number of orders received and processed in each month. As we understand that your sales volumes will vary from month to month, it's not fair to charge you a fixed amount for administrative costs. Agreed. How much will you charge per order then? It's 500 baht per order. Would you please submit to me a written quotation so that I can consider your offer? I will get back to you as soon as I have made a decision. I will get it to you within a week. Thanks for your time. Activity twenty one. B. Match the following responses with their corresponding questions in A. Then, listen to check the answers. One. How important are the minutes of a meeting? Do you have any idea how important the minutes of a meeting are? It depends very much what sort of meeting it is. If it's a formal board meeting, then minutes are a legal requirement. Two. What personal qualities? Are essential in a good manager. Do you have any idea what personal qualities are essential in a good manager? In my view, successful managers try to be positive, even when times are difficult, and they are happy when their staff make progress in the company. Three. What type of work is his company engaged in? Do you have any idea what type of work his company is engaged in? Well, his company, Strategic People, is an integrated human resource consultancy, sometimes called a personnel consultancy. Four. When is the best time to contact Mr. Giordano? Do you have any idea when the best time to contact Mr. Giordano is? Let me check his diary first. Well. Would Monday morning at ten be suitable for you? Five. Who are the customers who buy their company's scarves and also the other products? Do you have any idea who the customers who buy their company's scarves and also the other products are? Completely different. I mean, everybody from the most obvious and traditional type of lady to very young, very fashionable people. Six. What are the secrets of success? Do you have any idea what the secrets of success are? I think the main secret is enthusiasm. If you've got enthusiasm for your product, then the people who are listening to you will have enthusiasm.
Activity 22. Match the following questions or statements with their corresponding responses or parts. Then, listen to check the answers. 1. How much is the rental charge per square metre per month? It's 300 baht, but if you rent more than 1,000 square metres and for a longer period of time, the price can be reduced. 2. Can I be of any assistance? Yes, I'm importing household goods from Denmark and I'm looking for storage space. 3. Do you also provide storage and order picking equipment? Yes, we certainly do. We have several types of racks, shelving, drawers and operator control devices such as forklift trucks. 4. What type of warehouse are you looking for? A cold storage warehouse for preserving perishable items. 5. Is the racking and equipment rental included in this space rental charge? Yes, it already is. 6. What kind of software do you use to control the stock movement? We use WMS or Warehouse Management System. 7. Do you use automated storage and retrieval systems or ASRS in your warehouse? Yes, we do. The systems offer increased inventory accuracy, reduced labor costs, savings of floor space, and other advantages when compared to most manual systems. 8. What kinds of products do you want to store? Most of them are frozen food products, and some are alcoholic beverages. 9. Could you please send me a written quotation by Friday before I make a final decision? By all means, I'll fax it in to you no later than 2 p.m. 10. Do I have to pay extra for automated equipment? No. Additional automated storage and handling facilities have been added in order to increase order processing productivity and reduce product damage rates. จบซีดีแผ่นที่สอง